Hello, dear viewer, and welcome back to Tim Tim with me, Jalanon, and Lunar Nebula Gaming. Today, let's get our squad a little bit better figured out here. So I'm just going to double check. I think... Yeah... Hmm. Hmm. Maybe... Well, these are both physical. Hmm. We will probably switch Platox to the top. And then Platox... Your Tsunami ability. Yeah, with wind, so we'll keep you and Gazuma at the front for now. We'll see how this goes from there. For now, can I get any more little goodies? Apparently not. I am sad. Okay. We continue. And what do we find? Not the Dojo Master. Never mind. Hmm. I'll go forward first. Probably should have gone right, but that's okay. We're still not the Dojo Master. Hey, good day. I'm Samungi. Let's train, shall we? Yes, let's waste no time. Yes, let's train. Okay, then. No time wasted. Right into battle. Hey, maybe should do that with more conversations, to be honest, in this game. But that's okay. Is that what Drakash's first form is? It's adorable. Hmm. Okay, then. Pyco, as in Pyre and Gecko, I'm guessing? Adorable. Grumper. You look so grumpy. Okay, I have a feeling Aqua Bullet Hell will do fine, since it's already lower level. Yeah. Go take a nap, little one. And you are Electric type. I hate it. Okay. Well then, we're also slower now. Good thing we had the Lightning Rod. We still took about 70 damage there. Hmm. Okay, at least Scaravolt's not exhausted anymore. Goaty! So Goaty is neutral. Hmm, but Mintel takes double from Electric, so I don't necessarily want to get a Dororoboros out yet. I could Tsunami, or I could Bullet Hell. Ah, they do pretty similar damage, and this will hit the Goat as well. Since we know it's also an Electric type, I probably shouldn't use Electric Storm. It's probably going to do like a quarter damage if I use Electric Storm, but we will hit the Goat. I think I'm more scared of you, Grumper. Mm. I'll try Electric Storm, we'll see how it goes. We have the stamina for it. At least we get the Tsunami. Search up, bros. There you go. Okay, they're both a little bit chilly. Oh, so it's like Earth and Electric. Hmm. This will probably take out the goatee. Yep, and a quarter damage to Grumper. Ooh, and it healed from it. I am disappointed, but kind of wondered if that would be the case. Okay. Move along. Hurry Wart? Huh, like Worry Wart, but different. Okay, oh, and they're both 52. Um, this is a problem. Hmm. I'm also debating item-wise. Do I wish to save revives, potentially? <sighs> I think I end up saving more of my healing items by getting ready to sack some of my creatures. Which is terrible, but true. Um, so let's do that to Grumper. And try Windblade as well, just in case. There we go. Done. The Grumper can go away now. Madox, no. Uh, we might, though, be able to then switch out one or both of these guys. Uh, okay, okay. Saving some revives. It looks possible. <gasps> Evolution. Madox. You're getting very, very strong. Madox. At level 49, huh? a lot more HP. Uh, did you gain like 12 HP off that? Interesting. Interesting. We are definitely switching people out. Hmm, so it's neutral. We will go Adoroboros. 
and Baboon, I think. Scarifold's pretty defensive, also a little bit lower level. Yeah, we'll go Scarifold. We'll go Scarifold. Even though it's going to be probably a worse decision to take Scarifold into the final boss, because it will take time score damage. We have that gear that makes the first one not deal time score. So we might save Scarifold for the very last Tim battle. Like, try to keep it in the back until the very end. Maybe, maybe. Hmm. Defibrillate. Boom. Yeah, that is one nice thing about switching in, is you do get a charge on your moves. Even if you take some damage for it. There we go. It is nice to have a mental tip. It just seemed overall pretty decent at dealing with varieties. That was a cool move. Now, how do we animate that? Oh, you are animators. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you, friend. Okay. Uh, I will go straight again, even though that's probably the wrong thing. Whee! It appears that was the wrong thing. Ah, more people. Well then, bomb for my wounds. Okay. That's all my bomb. Pretty sure my Tumescence file is completely used up. Hmm. So, Balm Plus. There we go. Uh, I might wait on Scaravolt. Okay. Dude, the room keeps spinning. You stop moving it. Dude, I'm not doing you nothing. Someone said, let's jump in there. Oh, it's the worst thing can happen. Like, I had no idea. Dude, I don't know how many floors we fell through. Timmed him up. Dude, now he has us at a disadvantage. We'll be fine, as you don't hit me with your Tims. Okay. Apparently it's quite a whirlpool in there. Okay, Volcrane and Acronox. So the toxic earth and the earth fire. This is why we have Platamos at the front. Excellent. Too bad I can't use Tsunami yet. We'll take out Volcrane. You versus Toxic should do pretty good. Double wind damage. Boom. Volgrain is down. Alright then. The Sting. Good thing I'm not a giant spider in a forest facing a hobbit. That's all I can say about that. Mm hmm. Acrolux. Take that. Typhoon. Okay. Now. I could use my Toxic Slime. And I think I will. And then Vindblade should do the final attack. Yes? Well, against these two. There's one more Tim. One more Tim in the back. Hmm. So far, so good, though. These two are sweeping. Kazuma's getting some good XP. Catching up to Platinus. Though about 50 HP behind. Torrin. Ooh. Or Karin. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. I think I go for Venomous Claws. Wind Blade. Let's see. Nope, nope. Venomous isn't that good against it. What typing are you again? You're probably Kuri's Evolution. And yeah, you're Earth. This is clear. Hmm. Okay. I think you're probably Earth Crystal, right? Uh, we will Aqua Bullet Hell and hope that that is that. Hmm, I'll try Noxious Bomb. It's probably going to do less if it's Crystal. But it's not. Okay. We overexert, take a little bit of damage. But we're alive. Yes, we won. No, I did. You did? Dude, I'm on his team! Wow, no wonder I won. Okay then, you uh, guys get some naps or something. Okay, okay, we need a nap. We need to get out of here. Fair enough. Okay, do I go for this one or that one? I go for this one. Yay! Okay, three choices lie before me. I'll take the middle one instead of the right one, like I probably should. Hmm, okay. Well, I don't think I care about getting every item that badly. 
Then again, it might help you guys. Oh, okay. Tim Tim up, loser. Tim Tim up. Okay, so she's probably not pure earth types then, right? Wolfie. And Drakash. Ooh, Wolfie's design is pretty nice. Looks like nature earth, probably. Yes. Hmm. But too bad Aqua Bullet Hill is the clear choice there. And I'll try a Noxious Bomb on you. Okay. I am on fire. This hurts my soul. A plague. Oh dear. Did you exhaust me too? Wow. Well, we are not outspeeding these guys, clearly. And they survive because of that. We get the 30% less attack from burn, and I think exhausted also affects it. I should double check the status effect there. Okay, so it's not weak to Noxious Bomb. That's not great. Not great. We tsunami. And Electric Storm, just in case. It's also a more powerful electric move on Gazuma. Okay, yep. It's only good against Drakash, really. Okay. And then we get burned more. Wonderful. Dust Vortex, oh dear. Okay, well, it's clearly not a wind type move. We would have taken a lot less damage there. Yep, so it's gotta be like Crystal Earth or something. All right, we're gonna switch. Hmm, Scarable maybe? Hmm, I think I go Volarind. It take too long to charge up Magma Cannon. Scarabolt could get downed before it matters, basically. Well, we're a little bit lower level than these guys, which does not bode well for the Dojo Master. Ugh. Okay, so I think I'm going to need to stock up on more healing items in the future. Try the Uppercut, try the Toxic Plume. Okay, yeah. Baboon is pretty good here. Good job, Baboon. If only you were four levels higher. Sacrifice. Timtim may pay the ultimate price to heal the target of all status conditions and give them defense and special defense up. That actually sounds pretty good, considering you're usually too slow to get off Psychic Collaborator. As nice as it would be. I think we do that in the hopes that it actually matters. Good, good. You look ready to face the invaders. Because as long as they can't get rid of my statuses, then yeah. We could have Baboon really well set up, or Platinus. Hmm. And Mamaya flavor, eh? One TV to special DPH. Okay. Well. Let's get revived and maybe no, no need. Good, good, good. Okay, we'll just do that much for now. Scarable, you're close. And then the question is, do I care about some of these other stat increases? Hmm. You know, I think we're pretty happy. Uh, are you still burned? It's not showing up. Huh. Okay. May a good wind guide you, brother in arms. Okay. I do have two arms, yes. Whee! Alright, so then we come up here. Let's go right this time. Uh huh. Right again. Uh, we're back here. We'll try this one. Hmm, and then right took me back, did it not? It did not. We go forward. Hey, I'm closer. <laughs> forward! Okay. Forward. Hmm. Special item? No. I was hoping we'd at least get that. Uh, okay. So, what was it? Right? Right? 20 minutes later. Alright, dear viewer. It seems like, thanks to Legacy Gaming on YouTube, that probably the best way to get there is once we get into that middle area. We go to this top right, and then we just follow this pretty much. 
And from here, we can go to the Dojo Master if we don't care about getting the rest of the items. So, I will probably do that. I'm just going to double check. Is there an item I missed? I see it not. So I will not worry about it. I'm going to check this side real fast. Uh, uh. Okay. So yes, team is looking pretty good, I think. Okay, then. Bone plus. Hmm, do I really not have any molar of you? No. Fine, we'll do that, 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 that. Ugh. Oh well. Worth it. Hmm. Do I change anything else up? I think I like having Tsunami available soon. But maybe I put Volarind up front instead. Because Volarind is probably going to last longer than Gazuma. If only because it has almost 20 more HP. Alright then, dear everyone. Let's get to it. Geladon, so you are serious about joining the Resistance? Uh, I hate the Bullseye. I need to find Carlos. I mean... Kind of all of these? Uh, I need to find Carlos, but also for Kitsima. But Carlos will help us do this. You're doing all this for the sake of finding just that man, when all of us are fighting tooth and nail to defend homes and families. Fair enough. We need you and you need us, as a matter of fact. I do know where Carlos is. Help the Resistance and we'll help you find him. Okay. How can I help? I've got a mission just for you. I can't spare a single tamer, as you've seen, and I feel you'll be the right man for it. But I can't risk lives on a mere feeling. I must make sure. So get ready, Jalanon. I won't head back. Or hold back, I should say. Just as the Valsoto won't when you come across them out there in the Geno Gap. If you're not ready for me, you're not ready for them. Tim Tim up. I don't know, most of them seem a lot weaker than you. Other than maybe Lady Lottie? If she stole some good Tim Tim, maybe? Okay, yeah. Baboon might have been the better choice to start with here. Hmm. Still. This was pretty good against Cowron before. Let's just do a little bit of wind and everything. Crystal dust. Okay, not too much. We get the snare out. Good. We might take out Cowron. Hmm. Or maybe not. Wow, that wasn't too bad. Okay. Well, that wasn't too great either. But you're still doing better than they are. So good job, you. Um, I think I blizzard Mudrid. Because hopefully Tsunami takes out Cowan. Mm hmm. us. Annihilation. What a great Tim. This thing has been carrying us through so much of the game. <laughs> On those wonderfully large forearms. Okay, then. Oh, that wasn't quite enough, Volorant. That's okay. Hmm. Ooh, level up, though. You are now our highest level 10. Mashuk. Okay, well, wind will be good against Mashuk. I think we just go Venomous Claws on you. Wind Blade on you. There we go. Yeah, it's a quarter damage, but it's enough. Okay, then. Good work. Those excellent stats are working in our favor. Defense down, though. Hmm. The wind blade, no. Gazuma, we might switch in for Platypus. Since stamina does seem to recover while you're on the bench. Hmm. Alternatively, I do another tsunami just for the heck of it. I don't think that's the right choice. I either Baboon here, or Gazuma. Hmm. I think I Gazuma. Blizzard is pretty good. I don't exactly have enough stamina for Blizzard. But it's probably worth it. We'll try that. Okay. Are you ready, Wind Team? Tim, 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 Tim. Will it ever not get funny? Perhaps. Our Tim 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 Tim. Poison immunity! Take that. Okay. Uppercut. Bavel. So they're going to do that 
to Platamouse, eh? Platamous. Okay, that is enough to KO, but we did overexert. So there is that. Our Volarin should be okay. So far, so good. Scunch. Ah. This is why we have Adoroboros on the team. Hmm. I think I go ahead and prepare to let these guys down. We'll see. We'll see. Yep. Okay. Would have been nice if we could have gotten an attack off first. War drum. What's that do? I'm guessing give you stats when you KO people. And yet, no. Okay. Well, that wasn't too much damage. But you also get evasion. But only for one turn? Huh, okay. And because you're the slowest, it didn't matter. Okay, Adore Roboros. It's time. Your toxin typing should make you good against the other guy. And we can beta burst Scunch times four. So that should be pretty good. Question is do I Windblade or Blizzard now? I think I Windblade. I'll take it on the potential that I don't die here. Okay, well, I wasn't fast enough anyway. Unfortunate. We're still like one Tim ahead, but yeah, okay, I'm, I'm not seeing what that gear is doing, which is kind of disturbing, but we are still at least one Tim Tim ahead, if not two Tim Tim, or Tim 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 Tim. Hmm. Petrify, we're trapped. And I think it forcibly overexerts me. Which is unfortunate. So I could go Platymus. I think I go Baboom here, though. I'll save Platymus for last if we need it. Yowler? Okay, I don't know your typing at all. Hmm. We can use an item during your turn. I might as well revive while that is the case. I think Volarend makes more sense than the Gazuma to do. I will go for Akronox here with Baboon. Because I think it's times two? Yeah. Okay. And then Yowler, we don't know what you're weak to. Toxin Shower. Oh, that even hit your friend, huh? You probably get some bonus to being poisoned or something. No? Apparently not. And he's pretty good. Resistance badge. Hmm. I don't like the sound of that. Okay, so I could sacrifice you just to give a bunch of defenses to Baboon, which won't matter because he's too weak at the moment anyway. I think I'd do the beta burst, though, on Yowler, see if it's weak to that. And I could try to just tail strike, but I'm going to uppercut Akronox, make sure it goes down. Yeah. And Yowler might be his last him entirely, yes? I think so, if I'm reading that correct. Yeah, boom. Tip one for the team, man. Okay, resistance badge. Yeah, I'm still... Hmm. Not certain what that's doing. We do overexert here. And we do times two. Yeah. So I think it's neutral, probably. It might be neutral melee, or melee earth. If it's earth, we're going to want Platymos. Hmm, I think... I think I'll go ahead and throw you out there. The bay is sending out Scarable, because he can still use his gear. We rest you... We use the power of water, and the shape of water. And yeah, okay, so you're probably like a melee neutral or something? Like Scunch. Right? Oh dear, you do a lot with that. Yeah, there's Comebacker. Uh, so... Probably if somebody's higher HP than him or something. So sacrifice is still pointless. Energy manipulation it is. Okay, you're fastest with Venomous Claws, so we do that just to make sure. There we go. And then that should be enough with energy manipulation. That's right, lactic acid buildup. Beware it. Beware it. Okay. Good job, team. My team team. Tim Tim. Of team. Haha, <laughs> that was classic Denise in school tactics. It felt like fighting Sophia herself. You've learned well, John. Hey, you. And 2K. For all those items we used on your dojo. 
I'm Musa, Dojo Master of Vumbi. Hereby welcome you, Jalan of Denise, into the Kisiwin Resistance. Here, wear this with pride and honor. Hey, Resistance Badge. Okay, neutral techniques is increased by 10%. Mm, that would be good on Scotch. Long live free Kisiwa. Long live the Resistance. Down with the Bel Soto. I am honored Shikamu. I have no idea if that's... Yeah, long live free Kisiwa. Together we shall retake Uhuru and all our land. This I swear by my ancestors. Now listen up, Jaladon. Far to the southwest is Upenzin, a city we have retaken and lost again to the Belsoto at least twice. Between Upenzani and here lies a sparsely populated region of Savannah we call the Gino Gap. It used to be our line of communication with Upenzani until two days ago. Okay. Ah, uh, tell me about the city, I guess. I haven't been to Upenzani in ages, but at least back then it used to be considered the most genuinely Kisiwin town, if that makes sense. Not as advanced as Uhuru. No dojo like Vumbi. A haven for the old ways. Last news I had before comps were interrupted was that a man from the old Terei tribe has assumed command of the Upenzani resistance. That gives me some hope. They're sturdy tamers, the Terei. But none of us can survive for long in isolation. We need to link up with them again as soon as possible. So the Gino can? It's a beautiful land, Jola. Noble and rugged. An Earth Tim Tim country, too. Perhaps I'm biased because I spent most of my childhood rock hopping the islands with my dad. That was before everyone started moving to Bombi. But I digress. It's mostly open territory, except for the proper gap, which is a chasm peppered with tiny islands, most of them rock hop. That fracture is the only thing preventing the Bel Soto from storming us from that flank. Okay, uh, carry on. About 48 hours ago, our scouts spotted a massive Bel Soto airdrop in the Gino Gap. It expanded from that beachhead, and now the resistance is split in two. Thankfully, the Bel Soto don't seem to have the equipment to cross the gap and open a second front, but we've had no news from Upenzani since. What do you want me to do? I need to cross the Gino Gap and find a way to Upenzani. We must coordinate with the Ture, or we're all done for. A lot is riding on this mission, Jalana. Any last questions? Uh, where's Carlos? Your friend is working with the Resistance, too. He's helping us with another operation. I can't give you more details. Not right now. What if the Bel Soto capture you? Sorry, but this is bigger than you, me, or that detective friend of yours. If, I mean, once you make it to Upenzani. You'll be closer to him anyway. No more questions, Shikabu. Be on your way, Jalan. Avoid the Bel Soto as much as you possibly can, and by the love of all that is good, find a way to Upenzani. Okay. Here we go. Whee. Hmm. So I wonder if we're going... When we're going to try to get that side quest turned into that guy, who was in the dojo, if it makes sense to teleport back to the dojo master or not. Hmm. It's probably faster to just go through the dojo the original way. Probably. I wonder if we can get an escape rope or anything in the future. Sort of item. Oh well. For now, let's go back and heal our Tim Tim. Oh, we don't really have any other quests here. Yeah. So I think we just head back. Hope we unlock fast travel in the near future. Maybe. Maybe not. Did I ever go in this house? Did I ever ask if you wanted a friend? Apparently not. But you need a nap. Okay. Well then, dear girl, I hope you've enjoyed our dojo quest to figure out how to get through there. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more Tim Tim goodness. And I hope you, dear viewer, are ready to hand it to the Bell Sotos. Have a great day.